Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do a realistic face swap using GIMP 2.8. I'm sure that some of you have seen my previous video on the subject, but this time is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to take a face with a darker skin color and place it on a face with a lighter skin color. I'm also going to show you a different way to match the skin color which is probably the most difficult part when you're doing something like this and you can see here the final result one more thing judging by the comments some of you had difficulty following the steps of the previous tutorial so this time I'm going to take it slower and explain things better now before I start with the actual tutorial I want to talk about something else for a moment I got a request to review a website dissolve.com so I went ahead and checked it out I did a little browsing and it turns out it's a pretty awesome website I'm going to tell you why I like it and then about the little surprise that I have for you in the description of the video so basically Dissolve is a royalty free stock footage website you can buy clips and the prices start at just five dollars per clip but the really cool thing about it is that you're not paying for the quality you are paying per clip so even at five dollars per clip you're getting the best quality you can also sell your own footage at dissolve.com and finally about the little surprise that i have for you if you use the link in the description to sign up you will get video clips for free so definitely check it out use the link in the description to sign up and support the awesome artists at dissolve.com i'm also going to include a link in the description for their facebook page if you want to like it and support them now let's get started with the tutorial and the first and probably the most important step is to find images that are compatible use images where you have enough skin between the eyebrows and the hair also look for decent quality images you can't use one very good quality image and the other one pixelated with a lot of noise you're not going to achieve realistic results in this case this image is very clear the other one here is a little noisy but it's not that noticeable and will still work so with all that being said I open this image using the file open option and then I open this one using the file open as layers option next we need to make sure that both faces are approximately the same size so I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer and I noticed that the face on the top layer is a lot bigger than the face on the bottom layer so we need to scale down the top layer it can be the opposite maybe you need to scale down the bottom layer but in this case we are going to scale down this image so we select the top layer choose the scale tool click then make sure we click on this chain to keep the aspect ratio and I already experimented how much I need to scale it down type in the number 1100 pixels click enter then click scale now we notice that this face is tilted to the left and this one is to the right so again with the top layer selected I'm going to grab the flip tool I'm going to leave the options to their defaults horizontal then just click to flip the image then I'll grab the move tool and I'm going to position it this is not going to be final we can reposition the face later next I'm going to change the opacity back to 100 next I want to crop this top layer so I'll choose the crop tool select current layer only and I'm going to make a selection then hit the enter key to crop next right click on the top layer and choose add layer mask and again I'll use the defaults white full opacity click add next I'll select the brush tool make sure I have a fuzzy brush selected then I'm going to change the size to 180 pixels and uh, just double check that you have the layer mask selected and not the image then I'm going to start masking this image and uncovering the bottom layer so just carefully paint so 
So when I'm finished, again with the layer mask selected and not the image, I'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And here I got some comments that some users don't have this preview window or this a move icon. And uh, this is not that important, this is just for preview purposes and it will not help you a lot when we are blurring a layer mask. The most important part is the blur radius and in this case I'm going to type 150 pixels and this number here depends on the size of the image so if you have a small size image use a small number here for example in this case if I type here 600 pixels for blur radius my face will become semi transparent so you need to experiment with this and like I said the bigger the image the bigger the number here the smaller the image use smaller number for blur radius. I'm going to click OK and apply this filter and you see how the new face starts to blend very well with the image of the bottom layer but we still need to do some brush work so again with the layer mask selected I'm going to reduce the opacity of the brush tool to 40 and I'm going to start painting carefully And now it's time for matching the skin color and I'll start with duplicating this top layer. And first let's talk a little bit about colors. Notice that this face is a little reddish kind of orange. I'm going to start one of the color tools but before that we need to select the image, go to colors, color balance. And here notice that the opposite of red is cyan and the opposite of blue is yellow. So our face is kind of orange so it's in the middle of yellow and red. And to illustrate this better I'm going to start another color tool, hue saturation. And you see here that the opposite of red is cyan and the opposite of yellow is blue and we know that our face is kind of orange so we are looking for a color between dark blue and cyan. I'm going to close this dialog, click on the foreground color to start the color selection dialog and I'm going to select this color and you see that this blue color is kind of in the middle of dark blue and cyan and you can see the code here if you want to use it but you don't have to use exactly the same color you can experiment. I'm going to click OK here to apply this color to the foreground color and then I'll go to edit, fill with foreground color. Next I'm going to change the layer mode to soft light. Now notice that the new face is a little too bright compared to the other part of the image and this time I'll need to select this layer, the middle layer with the image then go to colors, brightness and contrast and I'm going to reduce the brightness I'm going to type minus 25 then click OK I also noticed that we went a little bit too far with this color filter so I'm going to select the top layer and change the opacity to 60 and this is it, I think we have a pretty good realistic result and I hope this video was useful if it was, make sure you like it, leave me a comment and if you're new to my tutorials, subscribe and visit my channel for more and I'm going to post the final result on my Google Plus page if you want to check it out and that's it for now, bye!